Hey, what's going on guys? This is Carlton Stith. For this video, I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to show you how to create a .NET Core NPC application with login and logout functionality. <clears throat> this is, I'm going to use Identity Framework. Identity Framework is what allows us to use this login and logout functionality. What is Identity Framework? I, ASP.NET Core Identity is a membership system that adds login functionality to ASP.NET Core apps. Users can create an account with the login information stored in Identity, or they can use an external login provider. Identity can be configured using a SQL Server database to store usernames, passwords, and profile data. So, as I'm going to show you, the default way that's offered in Visual Studio for Mac does not work. So, let's open up Visual Studio for Mac. Oh, and you're going to need, for this demo, you're going to need Terminal, you're going to need Visual Studio for Mac, you're going to need Azure Data Studio, and Docker Desktop for Mac. And we're going to be using SQL Server, this container from Docker Hub, in order to create a container a SQL Server container to run our database in Azure Data Studio. <clears throat> so the default way doesn't work. So let's click New Project, App, by that next. Um, let's go to the project location, Documents, YouTube. Let's give out a demo a name. Um, how about demo without login? Click create. Um, hold on one second, guys. Services go out there. Alright, let's create it now. Let's create this project here. Let's run on the project and we need the Docker. Let's see what we've got. And this is what we've got here. Um, there's no login and there's no registration page. We have a home controller and a privacy controller as you can see. We open up our solution here. We have our home controller and it gives us our two routes, our index and our privacy route, but our dependencies are missing for identity. So let's stop this, stop this, and I'm going to show you the way that we're going to have to create this app. Um, open up the terminal <coughs> and type the following. Let's see, dot, net, new, NBC, I'll create the project, we're going to call it demo with login, I'll call this project demo with login, we're going to use a local database, so authorization is individual, enter, Let's open up Visual Studio. Let's click open. Demo with login has been created. 
open up our CS pods here. As we did before, let's run the application and the debugger. Yeah, this is this looks quite different than before. Um, before we just had this home route, the privacy route, but we didn't have register and login. Um, login gives us a login page. Register gives us a registration page. Now, right now, if we try to log in, if we, if we create, a, if we try to create a reg, if we try to register right now. Um, it's not going to work. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to say admin admin.com. Password must be one uppercase letter, at least one uppercase, one lowercase, and one special character. From the password to register. And we're going to get an error. Local DB is not supported on this platform. So because we're using um, we're not using SQLite. We're going to use we're using SQL Server because it's just a coolest thing to use right now. Um, so what we need to do is update our default connection. So we're going to have to update the server to use localhost and give our database a name. We're going to call it we're going to give it the same database name as our project name, but we're just going to add db to the end of it. <clears throat> so, demo with login db and put in your user ID, password, our trusted connection is going to be false and multiple active result sets is going to be true. Um, now, let's let me show you how to um, use Docker to create a database. So open up your terminal and we're going to type the following commands. Um, Docker run. Docker run. Demo login with DB because that's what we put in here in app settings. And if you don't know what these, what I'm typing here, just check out my video on um, creating a database using Docker. you want to do now is come over here <clears throat> and from this Microsoft SQL Server container just copy and paste this tag here and this is what we're going to use Um, all right, so let me explain to you what I did here. 
I typed in docker run slash d. This parameter launches the docker container in daemon mode. This means that it runs in the background and doesn't need its own terminal window open. You can omit this parameter to have the container run in its own terminal window. Um, we're going to name, you have to give it a name. Um, this parameter allows you to name this container. This contain, this parameter is optional also. But it, it can be handy when stopping and starting your container from the terminal. Um, dash E, except EULA equals Y. Um, the Y shows that you agree with the EULA, the end user license agreement. So this is required to have SQL Server for Linux run on the Mac. Um, your password is required. This sets the SA database password. Um, this 1443 simply maps the local port 1443 to port 1443 on the container. The, this is the default TCP port that SQL Server uses to listen for connections. And this tells Docker which image to use. So click enter and tap PS. Docker PS, and we should see our container up and running. Right now, you, what you want to do is um, open up Azure Data Studio. And let's refresh this connection. In our databases, we shouldn't have any databases up in here. So if we go back to our project here and start it. register type admin at net.com. Remember, one uppercase, one lowercase, and one special character. Click apply migrations. Usually if you want to these migrations um, code first, you have to do it from a terminal. Let's clear all this out. probably couldn't see what I wrote before, but um, if you couldn't, these are the commands that I wrote. Um, docker run dash d dash dash name, the database name dash e except the end user license agreement, set your password, um, run it in developer mode, <coughs> map your ports, and get in, grab the container from Docker Hub. Um, so now, we refresh the page. Registration confirmation. So if we hit login. And we type. our databases. We should see our database in here now. The tables and if we go here to our users, we should see our new user was created successfully. Um, so there you have it. I'm almost out of time here. Um, if you have any questions regarding this demo, hit me up on Twitter at Carlton Stiff. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, um, leave a comment below. Either way, I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, guys. Peace out.